Hi everyone, Scott here with another Aperture experience for you. Uh, so this one is, uh, I'm calling back to basics. Um, I was going through some photos from several years ago when, you know, my photography was in its infancy. Um, not that I'm an expert by any uh, stretch of the means, but you know, this is back when, you know, if I were to go in one of the cartoon modes like portrait or, you know, the close-up flower, little, you know, funny pictures on the dial there, that was really experimental. Um, so I had, um, this uh, vacation in Las Vegas had a nice room, good view of the, the Strip, particularly the Paris Hotel, which we're seeing here. And um, a couple of nights while I was there, had some you know, great skies. And so, you know, I took a picture. And um, let me show you, this is what it looked like coming out of the camera. And as I went through these, I, I nearly gave up on this picture. Um, but as you can see, you know, I did a little bit of adjustments, which didn't take much time at all. And, you know, have something that's, you know, much more memorable. Um, I'm, I'm the, I make no claims that this is a you know a fantastic picture, and I should you know hang it in the in the center of my living room. But it's a, a great memory for me, you know, being there with the family and had this you know wonderful evening. Um, you can see the you know, the Bellagio fountain shooting up in the in the foreground. And, you know, the lights on the the tower. The sky was nice, pretty you know pinks and blues. Everything was great. So I thought um, it would be it would be neat just to see you know how we went from here to here in just a matter of a few minutes. So let's let's uh, let's dive in. Okay, so I've taken this uh, master image and I've made a new version of it. And the only thing I've maintained as far as adjustments is the straighten and crop. That's mainly so we can do a really quick and easy here's before and after. Um, we'll do this again at the end with the um, with the master toggle on and off. But anyhow, so what do I do to start? Um, I started with just, you know, the magic wand. Auto enhance. So click it. Okay, looks a little bit uh, better, maybe not, maybe. Uh, you can see that it applied some things, but it did not do anything with the white balance. Um, sometimes Auto Enhance does, sometimes it doesn't, so I'm going to click Auto. And already that's starting to look better to me. Uh, still a little bit um, you know, too darkish. I'm kind of going to bring in more of those reds of the sky. Eh, something, you know. You know, somewhere around there, roughly speaking. Not too bad. All right. Um, the next thing is I wanted a little more here in the sky and the vibrance. Uh, yeah, that's maybe a little too much. Maybe right there. Not too bad. Okay, this is already looking, you know, worlds better. Um, and actually, let's also do a little more vibrance, but with the brush, put a softer touch to it. So you look around 50%. I think that's good enough. Apply the entire image. No, it actually should be a little bit too much. Let's back that off a little bit. Okay, a little better. And a vignette. I'm going to do Control V for that. Okay, so this is already you know way better than what had uh, you know what had come out from the raw file. Um, the next step is really to get the subject to pop. I mean, the subject is tower. Right? That's what's really important. How can we do that? So let's start off with uh, I like to do sharpening. So I have a hotkey for that. Sharpen. Now um, I'll turn off detect edges for now, um, and I want to make the tower the sharpest thing in the picture. So I've got my strength at a full, you know, one on the brush. I'm gonna strengthen that all the way through there, and actually the fountains, the the water, you know, plumes or shoots or whatever you like to call those. Um, that's good. I I don't like to use the same sharpening level on all of my foreground. I think you know. It gives a little more texture if I don't. So again, I'm brushing through here, and I'm being kind of sloppy, and we'll see why that's okay in a minute. Um, just to get these uh, these buildings to be pretty well done. Yeah, I am a little bit of that balloon. Uh, now, what I like to do, um, I turned off detect edges when I did the sharpening. Uh, I'll put on the overlay, and this is where I can see I missed some spots. So let's go ahead and get those on that building there, a little bit there. A little bit in the archway. Um, that's good. I'll use my feathering tool, kind of smooth this, smooth this through a bit. I actually missed a couple of spots in the building there. Let's click those. Um, I like to use the edge detect when I'm erasing, uh, particularly when I have like something um, flat like the sky, where it's a unique color or a uniform color, I should say. Um, I find that the the edge detection works better when I'm trying to erase as opposed to when I'm trying to paint in. So um, that's just my personal experience. Yours may vary. 
Okay, and I mean, I'm going to be a little bit sloppy with this right now in the interest of time. You don't need to watch me brush in effects for, uh, for 15 minutes here. Okay, the A key. All right, that's looking all right. Um, the, um, the last thing I want to do is I still want this, this tower to jump out a little bit more. So uh, I'm going to try dodging. So I have another keyboard shortcut for that, but this is just the dodge brush. Um, very subtle, you know, very, very small. Um, yeah, maybe that's probably a good place to start as any. And just, just touching through here very lightly. And really, I am trying not to go into the building behind the tower. Um, I don't want, I, I don't want something like this to show up. And it's hard to probably see on the video, but that that does have a, a slight difference in the, the cast of what that building's looking like. Um, so we can toggle that on and off. It's very subtle. Just a little bit, you can see it goes off, comes back on. And I'm gonna do the same thing with a little bit of contrast. Again, very soft, low in the 30-ish range. And just kind of go through there again, just to make this tower really jump. Okay, A key again, and I'm back to normal. And that's basically it. So, you know, I went from this, you know, I've lost my crop a little bit, but you get the idea, to this, you know, in a, just a few minutes. Um, most of the adjustments were, you know, global. Just you know, The auto enhance started with the white balance was probably the big key thing for this image. You know, if I toggle that on and off, yeah, that's way different. I mean, just playing with that, give it a completely different feel of the picture. And this is what I remember, you know, those cobalt blue skies, nice little pink going on in the clouds. And, uh, you know, nice time for that, you know, the, the blue hour when the ambient light and the artificial light are really coming together nicely. So that's it. Again, you know, back to basics. Something as, as quick and simple as your normal standard adjustments in aperture, uh, no plugins, you know, no Photoshop, no um, extra suites, but with a really nice result. So I uh, hope you found that fun, and I'll see you again next time. <laughs>